Hello guys, welcome to Baiju's exam prep and welcome to the next video of Trichopedia for the gate examination. Let's trick it. In one of my earlier Trichopedia videos, I have given you the shortcut, the tricks and the techniques to quickly calculate local maxima and local minima. And now in this video, I am going to talk about the techniques for quick calculation of global maxima and global minima. Let us get started quickly. Now, normally, you know, what are the steps that, uh, you know, will follow for global maxima and global minima? Number one, we will try to calculate the stationary points and we calculate the stationary points by the equation. First derivative f dash x equal to zero. And then we will confirm whether that stationary point is a local maxima, local minima by either first derivative test or second derivative test or the wavy curve shortcut. Okay, you know, using the concept of first and second derivative and putting it in the wavy curve method. Okay, but now the technique that I'm going to give you, we don't need this step number two, we'll directly go to another step. And what I'm going to do, calculate the value of fx at the stationary points obtained and also at the end points of the boundary. Okay, and then, okay, comment on your answer. How to comment? I think the tricks can only be more understood by question. So here it is, the question for you okay find the maximum and minimum values of fx in the given interval right so when i say maximum and minimum it doesn't mean here local maximum local minima because there is an interval given to you closed interval 0 comma 6 so when i say maximum minima in an interval that of course means global maximum and minima i mean the overall the largest possible value and the smallest possible value in the given interval sometimes that may be local maxima also because it is quite possible now nah? okay okay suppose this is the curve okay Suppose this is the given curve. Okay, so now in this given curve, in this given curve, look at these points. Okay, this is a local maxima, we all know, but this is the largest possible value. That is the global maxima. Okay, but this is the local minima. Okay, we know that this is the local minima, but it is also the smallest value. So that becomes the global minima also. It depends. Okay, sometimes the local minima is global minima and uh, you know reverse as well okay but now okay i'm not going to draw any graphs to give you this method yes whatever technique i'm telling has been obtained by graphical analysis only but now let's quickly talk about the shortcut okay so find the minimum and maximum value no problem let us calculate the stationary points first of all okay by f dash x equal to zero okay by derivative equal to zero you are going to get this root so x equal to two comma for simple, simple factorizable equation or you can use the quadratic formula. So I have two stationary points. Don't even confirm which is local maxima, which is local maximum, minima, the direct shortcut. What you have to do is calculate the value of the function at these two points. Calculate the value of the function at these two points. That's it. Okay, that's it. The results are, oh, oh sorry, what happened suddenly? Sorry, what happened suddenly? Yeah, let me come back here. Here it is. Yeah, so here it is. Look into this. So the results will be in front of you. So when I calculate it, see F0, what I want F0, F2, F4 and F6 in the sequence in the increasing order I've written. Everybody can do the calculations. I've done the calculations for you by putting the values of X that is 0, 2, 4 and 6 and these are the results. Now once the calculations are up in front of you, everybody can look and decide now which is the highest and which is the smallest. So which is the highest possible value? Which is the highest possible value? Just a second. Which is that highest possible value? That is, of course, the 41. That confirms your maxima, global maxima in the given interval. So what is the global maximum value? 41 occurs at x equal to 6. Okay. And the minimum value, the minimum value is 5. Okay. That is the global minima. Achha, both of them are not occurring at the stationary points. Both of them are not occurring at the stationary points. Okay. Matlab, none of them is matching with local maxima, local minima. And it can be no problem. No problem with that. Next, one more quick question, guys. Find the maximum and minimum values of a function x cube minus 6x square plus 9x plus 4 in the interval minus, talk, uh, minus 2 comma 4. Have a look into this. Again, I will take the first derivative and put it equal to 0. And I get the stationary points 1 comma 3. I get the stationary points that is x equal to 1 comma 3. Right. Now, Calculate the value of the stationary point. There is one catch here. Okay. At the end points, calculate the value of the function at the end points. Calculate the value of the function at the stationary points. That is F minus 2. Okay. F1, F2 and F3. Okay. Okay. You can swipe it also. But the important catch here is, but the important catch here is, you might be thinking which is the lo which is the global minimum. Minus 50 is the smallest. So is this my global minimum? Not at all. Okay. This is not global minima. This is not required. Sir, why it is not required? Because 
x equal to 3 does not belong to the given interval. Sometimes in hurry hurry we will do the mistake. Sir ne bola calculate at stationary points and calculate at end points. But no, that particular, that particular stationary point is outside my given interval. So that is not to be considered. I only want the minimum or minima, maximum in this given interval. Okay, so which is, which is the global minima? This is the global minimum value which is going to be minus 46. The global maxima, okay, is, uh, that, is that is definitely 8 and this is the global this is the global maxima. It occurs at x equal to 1 which is in the interval. So, it is allowed. Okay. So, both the answer is in front of you. Minimum and maximum. The minimum value minus 46. The maximum value plus 8. I hope you have understood this very simple trick. And this is a very, very important two marker producing question in gate. Please note down two marker producing question in gate. You can only solve derivative. First derivative equal to 0. Calculate the stationary points. Calculate the value of the function at the end points and at the stationary points. Look into fact that stationary point should be within the range. Otherwise, discard it immediately. That's it. Bye bye. Okay, if you want, if you're enjoying and want to look for more such tricks, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. Thank you. Stay safe.